Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at passing in command line arguments or flags into our Go applications. Um, so this is useful, for example, uh, in a previous tutorial I demonstrated how to load from a file any kind of configuration data. Um, well, this might be useful in terms of specifying where that configuration data resides uh, for that specific file or any kind of command line argument uh, that you can think of as well. Um, so this is just one of many alternatives. Um, so I do have my my editor open. I do have this file in my Go path. I'm going to do everything in this main.go file. I'm going to say package main. I'm going to say uh, function main. And I'm going to add some code here. Um, so first off, I'm going to say uh, fmt.println. And I'm going to say starting the application, just, just to get things started. And you can see that it is auto importing uh, my packages. Um, your editor may or may not do that, um, but you can uh, always add them by hand manually. It's not that bad. All right, so with that said, um, now we need to worry about, well, what kind of parameters are we going to be accepting? Um, so, for example, um, we can accept either int, um, string, or boolean. Um, so it depends on what you want to accept from the user. Um, but let's go ahead and say that, uh, for one, we want to accept um, a boolean. So I'm going to say... Um, let's go ahead and say that this is going to represent um, output. Um, so output, if it's true, then we're going to output it to a file, otherwise not. Um, and we're not actually gonna output it to a file, but we're just gonna demonstrate that, hey, we can pass in Boolean values. Um, so I have output equals, I'm gonna say flag.bool, and I'm gonna specify the actual flag that the user has to type in. So in this case, it's gonna be output. The next step is, well, uh, what do we want the default to be? Um, so we do have the option to define a default. Um, so by default, we're gonna say, you know what? There's gonna be no output. So I'm gonna say uh, the output is false. That's the default value. And then if we ever want to inquire what this particular flag is, uh, we can specify a description. So we're gonna say, uh, should there be output? And uh, we, can, we can go uh, to the next step. Um, so in this case, we have one command line flag, um, and we're not done yet. In order to actually use it, what we want to do is we want to say flag.parse, um, and then we can actually use our flags. Um, so for example, uh, what we want to do is we want to do the following. Um, so let's go ahead and print it out. So fmt print line, and we're going to print it out. What we're going to actually print is we're going to actually print um, with a pointer, so an asterisk here, we're going to say output. Um, and that will tell us what it is. So let's go ahead and save it. You can see that it added flag to my imports. I'm going to open up my uh, terminal here. And I'm going to say, first of all, go run. And I'm just going to leave it with, with the defaults here. And you can see that the default is false because that's what the default of our output is. Um, so let's go ahead and try another one. I'm going to say go run. And I'm going to say go. And I'm going to say hyphen hyphen output should be hyphen hyphen if, if it fails we'll just do a single hyphen but we're gonna say true all right should there be output um, so we messed up it should be a single a single uh, hyphen there so let's go ahead and try it do one at one hyphen oh and I actually it's I think it's because I misspelled it so let's uh let's try it both ways so I'm just gonna spell it correctly this time output true it looks like it worked with one hyphen. Uh, let's go ahead and try it with this with the second hyphen, see if that still works. Uh, that still works. So the, the problem was related to uh, me misspelling it. Um, so let, let's, uh, let's advance this example a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and add a string. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear this. So I'm gonna say um, input, and let's go ahead and say flag.string. So this could represent maybe an input file. So I'm gonna say input, and the default is going to be uh, maybe file.csv. And we're going to say uh, the path to the input file. Uh, we've already parsed it. Um, so in this case, I'm going to say fmt print line. And I'm going to say input. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to run it. So let's just run it with, uh, with one flag here. And you can see that it used the default for input. So uh, all is good. Now, if we really wanted to, uh, we should be able to say go run star uh, go, and then maybe hyphen hyphen help. And what that's doing is it's showing us 
uh, what what are the options here when we run our application. So uh, we can provide an input and it's a type of string and this is an example. Um, likewise, should there be output, true or false? So it's basically what we type in for each one of these flags. Um, so it is helpful to us um, and if I were to compile and build it, we can, we can run it uh, from the actual binary, not, not on the fly like I did. Uh, but it's the same concept.